The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Life cycle thinking is critical for the delivery, maintenance and operation of building environment assets. This project, Unlocking Facility Value Through Life Cycle Thinking, funded by the Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre, aims to investigate how innovative technologies, including digital engineering and artificial intelligence, can be integrated to support life cycle thinking, as well as investigating how such integration can be used in real-life cases to inform decision-making. This project has attracted national interest with industrial and academic participants across Australia. The project has three main aims. The first being to explore the difficulties and the opportunities that exist when developing such technology. The second was to examine the role that artificial intelligence and machine learning might play in enhancing those models. And thirdly, to disseminate the learnings from this project into government and industries so that they could assess its application in their various areas. The government introduced uh, from the 1st of July 2019 all projects above 50 million that are going to go through the Building Queensland Business Case Development Framework need to conform to the BIM principles that were endorsed by Cabinet in 2018. Those BIM principles ensure that we get good optimisation of information, they ensure that we get interoperability between uh, projects, and they also ensure that the digital models which are generated can be stored into the future alongside the physical assets so that we get good outcomes for Queensland infrastructure. The Queensland Government has been a strong supporter of the work of uh, Professor Keith Hampson and his team by looking at how asset performance uh, can uh, work in the digital engineering space. The importance of the work that SBE and NRC are doing through unlocking value through life cycle thinking is to examine the value at each step of the different phases in the life cycle of an asset to look to improve outcomes, whether it's through the design, the construction, the operation, and ultimately the dismantling of the asset. As chair of the Australasian BIM Advisory Board, a board of practitioners and jurisdictions across Australia and New Zealand, it's important that we uh, look to our education sector providers and supporters, such as SBE NRC, to get good outcomes for the assets that we were all involved in designing, constructing and operating. What we want to ensure is that we get better outcomes and understand the value that the research can deliver to feed back to industry, but also to governments, the value that uh, digital engineering and building information modelling provides. I think the, the value of working with academia and, and the guys there is they probably have a greater exposure than we would to some of the new technologies and some of the systems and processes that could be useful to us. The example that they were able to run with was using computer learning to pick up our white lines or our uh, centre lines and edge lines along our uh, highway network. So using the computer and the video that we have every second year to pick those lines up so we know what's out there and what condition they're in and that enables us to more effectively keep our inventory up to date and then plan our maintenance and this will lead to things in the future that uh, more uh, digitized uh, methodologies of, of picking up data and its condition and allowing us to be more efficient in our future maintenance. For the past few years my team has been uh, developing the digital engineering framework for both um, government and industry which works to bring together physical construction and uh, virtual construction in the form of the digital twin. This will provide all sorts of uh, new and exciting outcomes for how we deliver infrastructure into the future. We've been working with SBE NRC for many years, uh, working in collaboration to drive real world solutions that will enable digital transformation of the built environment. Our ongoing partnership provides the opportunity to work in collaboration with academia to develop research that will drive real solutions 
for both government and industry. And uh, we look forward to working with SBE for many years to come. The project has clearly been successful, but it has also been a springboard to develop a unified BIM, data architecture being structured and integrated, and hence nationally consistent and internationally compatible. But there's a big future ahead of us. We think of smart cities, where they will contain vertical and horizontal infrastructure of varying types, which are not only physically connected, but also intelligently connected. Mm -hmm.